Hello guys, welcome to Kenya USA Times TV. Today is a Sunday and I want to show you how to use uh, DV Photo Checker. Basically, I've been using three DV Photo tools uh, such as um, uh, for this one, uh, greencardphotocheck.com is a good tool. And the official one here, DV Photo um, photo tool by the Department of State. But to, today I want to uh, focus on DV Photo Checker. Yes. Photo Checker has a paid fashion called Fisa Photo. Yes. Fisa Photo uh, is a paid fashion of Photo Checker. Um, I know some people are, are having issues with editing their photos. They've gone to various photo studios and they have not been helped. So, disclaimer, this is an expensive service. It costs about uh, $7. Yes, it used to cost about $1 uh, in 2021. It's now about $7 US dollars. So, you know, it's very expensive. However, I know some Kenyans or some applicants in Gulf countries like Qatar, Doha, mm, Saudi Arabia, and so forth, are having issues with their, uh, how to edit their photos. You can use DV Photo Checker paid fashion. And I will show you how to do this. Let's go here. You go to DV Photo Checker, and then down here you will see, get a correct DV Photo lottery photo get a right photo for the dv uh, for green guard lottery on, on online at visaphoto.com uh, meeting all the official requirements so you will click here you will click here and then you will upload your photo let's use the the raw photo i have a raw photo you will upload your photo As you can see, it says guaranteed to be accepted uh -huh, in the website. Now, this is my photo. Remember, the previous photo was a raw photo. And if you can see here, yes, it has a white background, but it's not super white. This is a curtain. The raw photo is not even edited. But it, when you see DV, um, photo checker now visa photo it has th this photo has been edited in it now means the required specification yes two in square 135 kilobytes yes printable whatever and then the background has been changed even the aid the aid is not a uh, over 65 65 percent so it's good to go so what you do now you go to download yes you go to download and then you fill your details here if you are using a card you click card and then you card number uh, where you where you are then you pay pay by card seven dollars yes seven dollars and then you can also choose to um cash pay if you have cash pay google pay if you have google pay and then debit card you can use that so this is the last option it's very expensive i know if you have family this is an expensive route but some people have no option they have no alternative and they are in gulf countries where there are a lot of issues there they cannot be able to go to a photo studio or if they go there, they don't know how to edit. This is the last option. Even those who are in Kenya, you can use this if you have no alternative. Maybe the local photo studios are not able to edit your photos. You can use this. Follow the instruction input. As, that is as long as you have a bank account 
you have a debit card you can infill you can fill your details here and you follow the instruction then you pay then you will be able to download the the photo the photo will be like this the photo will be like this then you click download yes let me for this one yes it's downloading it's a good photo and guys i'm not promoting this company or i'm not endorsing this or i have not been paid to advertise for them but it's only the last option it's very expensive i know but if you have no option and you have money you can use it the photo that will be produced will be acceptable it, it will be a good photo uh, in my dv lottery application i went to the photo studio and then i told the photo guy to give me to take a, a raw photo of me give me a raw photo and also secondly uh, to edit uh, my photo luckily for me i was able to use the uh, the edited photo by the studio guy it was good so but um being a curious person i was able to visit this site photo visa photo and i even paid for their services though i never used their uh, their photo eventually but when i tested their photo uh, it met the requirements so some people may not be lucky you may go to a studio and the studio guy messes up things and you are not able to get the right photo you can use this yes i know if you are a single person this may not be expensive for you but if you have a family it's very expensive but as always i always encourage people to go to ferias photo studios yes let your photographer try maybe five feet rule or seven feet rule yeah it should not be so close or not so far away there should be a, a balance and don't take one photo take as many photos as you can maybe three you can negotiate with the photo guy take three so that you when you test the photos at least you will have one but if you have no option use the paid version of a uh, photo checker which is called visa photo and you will be good to go yes so as you can see from this photo here uh, to this one, there is a change. Yes, this photo, uh, let me show you, a super white background. There is no issue about changing the background. I know some people are still debating about this. There is no issue about that. You can always change your background. And I'm a testimony of this. My original photo was like this. But the final photo was not even... Yes, the final photo was like this, super white, and it was acceptable. So thank you guys. Please like and subscribe. God bless you.